This is part 52 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a multi-column carousel. This is how we want our multi-column carousel to be. We're going to have three slides in the carousel and each slide should have three columns as you can see here. Let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in our previous video. At the moment, what we've got here is a single column carousel. Let's see how to convert this single column carousel to a three column carousel as you can see here. So let's flip to Visual Studio. The first change that I'm going to do here is change the class right here to call access 12. So this column is going to span the entire 12 units in the bootstrap grid system. This line right here is not going to change in any way. And this line here where we are creating our carousel indicators. Now if you look at our carousel right here, this carousel is going to have only three slides. So we only need three circle indicators. So let's get rid of the extra list item that we've got here. And then the significant change is going to be right here within this div where we have this carousel in a class. Now inside this item, so item class represent each slide within our carousel. So inside this I'm actually going to create a row. So let's create a div element with class row and let's move this closing div right here. And in, then inside this row let's create a column which is going to be four units wide. In a bit you'll understand why we are creating a column that is four units wide. Because remember, we want three columns per slide and the slide itself is represented by this development which has this class item. So within the item, within the slide, at the moment we have got only one column. So let's create two other such columns. So what I'm going to do is we have got another image here. So I'm going to change the class here to call XS4. So this image is also going to be four units wide and I'm going to move this column inside this first slide itself. So we have got a row inside this row. We have got one column at the moment and we have got our second column. So in our slide at the moment we have got two columns. I'm going to create third column. So let's change the class on this div right here to call access four and then move this also inside the same row. So now we've got one slide and that slide has got a single row with three columns. Okay, so with that we have at the moment one slide in our carousel. We need to create two other such slides. We'll do that in just a bit. Let's save our changes. Reload this web page. Notice now we've got a carousel with a slide that has got three columns in it. Now at the moment when I click on these left and right arrows or on these circle indicators, nothing is going to happen. It's not going to move from one slide to another. That's because we only have one slide at the moment. Now all we need to do is create two other slides just like this. And in the interest of time, I have already typed the required HTML. So we've got the two other slides. Look at this. We have got this development with class item. So this is a slide. And inside that we have a row. And within the row, we've got three columns, each being four units wide. And within each column, we have an image and a caption for the carousel. Okay. The only difference between these two divs and this div right here is that on this div we have used the active class because we want this slide to be active when the carousel initially loads and we need three slides with three columns within each slide so that means we need nine images total and we have got images within our images folder so let's copy these two slides from our notepad and I'm going to paste them inside this development which has got the carousel in a class. Let's save our changes. Reload our web page. Now it should automatically cycle through between all the three slides. Notice every slide has got three columns within it. So the left and right arrows work and the circle indicators also work exactly the same way as before. So it's that easy creating a multi-column carousel using Bootstrap. Thank you for listening and have a great day.